Well, as you guys can see, we are elated to be joined by the Bradshaw Christian baseball team up here. And representing the pride, we have their captains, all of them up here. We'll start off over here. We have Micah Nicholson. And right next to him, we have David Weiser, probably the wisest person on the team, right? <laughs> or not. Okay. And then going this way, we have the catcher and captain, Roberto Garduno. And right next to him, head coach, the man with the master plan, Drew Rickard. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for spending your Sunday evening with us here. Yes, well, sir. thanks for having Thank us. You. We appreciate yeah, that. You. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you guys are off to another great start this year. Uh, 16 and one, undefeated in league play. Uh, what's working so well for the Pride this year, and what do you guys attribute that success to? I think it's just that we um, get along, they work hard, they enjoy each other's company. Practices are always um, upbeat, tempo is really good, and they like to get after it. They're not scared to work. I feel like this year we definitely have to have a chip on our shoulder. Like we lost in sections last year in a very tough game. But this year, we definitely got something to prove. We didn't graduate a lot of guys, and so this year, we're trying to make a, another comeback. So we got a wide variety of positions here. We got a catcher here, we got a pitcher here, and we got a shortstop here. So we're all over the field. I want to focus first and foremost on the catcher-pitcher relationship a little bit. Y'all have to be on the same page just to a, another level, the communication between y'all, and it's not always verbal. I'll start with you, and then I'll get to you, Roberto. Sounds good. The, the, the pitcher-catcher relationship, how important is, is that in the, in, in the work that you guys do? I think, I mean, it's the start of the game. We have the ball every single play, so we're really the backbone of the, the defense. And then how do you build off of the, the work that he's doing? He's dealing on the mound. You're trying to give him as, as good of a frame as possible, also trying not to hurt your hand catching his fastball. <laughs> yeah. sure. Well, what's it like catching his pitches? And well, honestly, thankfully for me is I've grown up playing with David, uh, so I actually had a feeling for him, and I already know what he likes and what works for him. So pretty much when he's pitching, I just like to go up there and make sure he's comfortable and that he knows I'm going to work for him, and I just let him do his thing. What does this team do before games? What do you guys, do you have a pregame ritual? Is there something that y'all do to get each other pumped up? Well, I think for a lot of them, it's a little different. You know, we have some hit in the cage, some will play catch, you know, just loosen up. Some play fungo golf on our baseball field, you know, so just anything to get their mind in the right spot. And but really, I think what really is the main part of our pregame ritual is that we always make sure we get two prayers in from each captain. So Michael will get us going with the calmer prayer just to like, you know, we'll cross that threshold as game time. And then I'll go out right before the game starts with that, like, that more hyped up prayer to really get us locked in and get us going. All right, Pastor Roberto over there, get him going. <laughs> David. I'm going to give you the props because I don't think you're going to brag about yourself. <laughs> David is heading to Stanford, but he's just a junior. So we got a, we got a yeah, Stanford, yeah. future Stanford Cardinal Ooh. in the house here. <laughs> the in studio audience. Yeah, that's right. Right. So, I'm cute. Yeah. The, in studio audience. Yeah, the, the applause light came yeah. out somewhere. <laughs> David, uh, how is this, this program? And we got a couple seniors up here as well. I'll, I'll get to you guys too. But how has this program prepared you to? take your talents that far. I mean, I know you still got this season, next season to worry about, so you're not getting too far ahead of yourself, but coach from your, your coaches, your teammates, your program, how have they prepared you to get this far? So Coach Rigger, he's our football coach as well, and he really teaches like how to be a good teammate, and it's not just about yourself. So we really work for each other, and you know what it is to be, to be a team. And then our two seniors up here, you guys, there's four seniors total on your guys' roster, yeah. right? So you guys got a big responsibility. I know yes. you said the success last year, you're carrying it into this year. You got a big junior class, which is good for the future yes. of the program, Coach. Yeah. But for our two seniors up here, how serious do you take your, the leadership aspect of, of what you guys do? I definitely feel like sometimes I take baseball for granted, and especially being last year at high school and then having to move on to the next chapter of my life. I'm just trying to take each game at a time and realize how important each game is a time to keep that process going so that we can win sections. I'm going to jump in with a catcher-specific question to you, Roberto, because <laughs> okay. I married a, a softball catcher. Oh, okay. So I've learned a thing or two about the position. One of the things that I've learned is how important the catcher-umpire relationship is. <laughs> Give us a little insight on that. That the, Is it umpire schmoozing? What, what are we doing? Yeah, you kind of want to you you be a little extra nice to the umpire. So I always like to greet him before the game with the handshake. I ask him what he prefers I call him because some people don't like blue or um, they just like being called by their first name. And you know, I always try to make sure I crack some jokes or I make sure he's good. I'll keep the conversation going for hopefully so you know, some biasness on our side when it comes to getting certain calls. For the players, one of my favorite questions to ask players, because all three of you hit, even you, you're all, you're all up there batting. 
What's our walk-up music? What, what, what are we rocking? Does it change? Is it a consistent song? Like, what, Roberto, what are we rocking? I got to know from everybody. Okay, so me personally right now, I'm going with Feeling Myself by Mac Dre, because okay. that gets me locked in. I, you know, when I'm up to bat, I want to be feeling myself, so okay. I'm trying to take one deep. But before I had this uh, Mexican song going, La Chona, I had it called it. Really, that one really got me no, going. No, uh -huh. <laughs> feeling Myself in the Chona. Okay, I can dig it. <laughs> All right, what, what about you, Mr. Modest? Uh, I try to have something upbeat, so I do Baby by Lil Baby. And okay. I got a little Dilemma by Nelly. Ooh. Wait, a Dilemma? That's the one with him and Kelly Rowland? No matter yeah. or what? That's like a slow... Nah, belt. it gets me going. I don't need some hype music. I can I can make it hype for myself. That's just Ooh. how I roll. Ooh. Okay. It's cool, uh, calm, and collected in the bias. That's, that's scary. I know, I don't know what to say. Topic. That's cool. He, mm -hmm. he doesn't need anything. That's one of my last things for you, Coach Rickard. You know, obviously coaching football, coaching baseball, that's a lot. I don't even know when you sleep. <laughs> what do you want these players to take out of your program when they go on with their lives and go into adulthood? Well, we really preach at Bradshaw. We want them to be better young, better men, you know, better husbands, better fathers, you know, people who can, you know, carry our workforce, who are going to be positive people in our world. And, you know, the Lord is a big part of our program. You know, people talk about the Lord is the extra, it's, he's a big part, and we want him to be better Christian men. You guys all keep up the good work. Uh, good Thank luck uh, in the postseason this year when you guys get there and all that other good stuff. So thank, thank you, you once again for coming on the show. Yeah, thank, thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Thank